Hello everyone, this is Sans. The major catalyst that can send Bitcoin and Bitcoin miners higher is the approval of a Bitcoin ETF in the US. There have been several applications for US Bitcoin ETFs from Fidelity, Wisdom Tree, Vanek, and others. We already have four Bitcoin ETFs that have been approved in Canada. This includes the Evolve Bitcoin ETF, Galaxy, Purpose Bitcoin ETF, and 3IQ. The fact that these ETFs have been approved in Canada is a positive sign. Guys, we have to consider that while approving the ETF, there are many regulatory hurdles that are involved and this may take time. However, until the ETFs get approved, the investors can get exposure to crypto and Bitcoin through the Bitwise Crypto Industry Innovators ETF, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, or by buying shares in MicroStrategy. Recently, there has been a lot of concern about BTC going down from 64K to 38K as of now. Guys, we have to remember that during the early years of the internet in the 90s, people were skeptical about the internet and its privacy issues. However, over the last 30 years, the internet has had a revolutionary impact. Similarly, people are now skeptical of Bitcoin and blockchain, but there is tremendous scope for growth over the next 30 years. Now, what we do not know is that within the crypto and blockchain ecosystem, which one's the Amazon and which one is like pets.com? Bitcoin or Ethereum may end up as the Amazon, while the meme coins are similar to pets.com. Guys, this is very important. I have spoken about this in detail in my previous video on Argo blockchain. In this video, I will just talk about this briefly. We have the stock to flow model, we have the Wyckoff model, and there are plenty of Bitcoin price projections. But the question is, where are the funds going to come from for Bitcoin to reach a price target of 100K by the end of the year? Guys, 100K by the end of the year is actually quite conservative. I know that's difficult to believe, so let me explain why. BTC is now at 38,700. And to get to 100K by the end of the year, that's a 2.6X from here. We would need 1,163 billion or 1.16 trillion for that. As we see here, the top 10 asset management companies in the world have 34 trillion. If they only invest 1%, then we can have 0.34 trillion. So that's almost one third of the funds we need to get to 100K. And guys, this is only the top 10 investment companies. There are hundreds of more companies all over the world. For all of you who were concerned about the extended decline in BTC prices to below 40K, this information should be very satisfying. Now let's go over this chart on the Bitcoin MVRV ratio or the market value against the realized value. As we see here in pink, the MVRV ratio was overextended in early 2011 over here, in 2013 over here, and in 2018. Now, in May 2021, this could be the first top of a double top cycle, similar to what we had in 2013 over here. If that happens, then BDC might currently be in a mid-cycle breather that prepares the asset for continuation once the rally resumes. Let's not get distracted by the China FUD and the energy issues. Instead, guys, let's simply focus on the on-chain data and the fundamentals. If we have a look at this chart from Glassnode, there are currently three supply trends. This is the supply held by the short-term holders of BTC. And as we see here, it is going down. The supply held by the long-term holders is increasing over here and the miners are also accumulating Bitcoin and this is good for the shareholders of the mining stocks like Riot, Mara, Hive or Bitforms. If Bitcoin has a 3x from the current level of around 38,700 then it will have a market cap higher than that of Apple and we will be on our way towards the long-term goal of reaching the market cap of gold or maybe even going higher than that. And this may happen over the next five to 10 years.
Bitcoin has now broken out of the symmetrical triangle within which we have been for the last few weeks. On the upside, we may go and hit the resistance of around 41,000. Although we have broken out to the upside, we are still in the longer term accumulation phase of the Wyckoff model. And I don't feel there will be any V-shaped recovery over here. Bitcoin will be accumulating and may take a few months to get back to all time highs. We are going up. We just may not go up as fast as some people might want. During this stage of the BTC accumulation phase, it would be better to directly buy Bitcoin or Ethereum instead of buying the mining stocks like Riot, Mara, Hive or Bitfarms. For those of you who are holding Mara or Riot in the $30 range, you have to be patient. Within a month or so, your positions will be green. I repeat, let's not get distracted by all the FUD that's going on in the mining space and let's simply focus on the on-chain data. I hope the charts and analysis are helping you make more informed trading decisions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.